Hello friends, welcome to the DJ Voice channel. You all have come here with the latest and important update. So the friend will watch the video till the end. And if you are new to the channel, then you must subscribe to the channel. You will subscribe and click on the bell option given. Along with it, it will surprise no one that a general election year has begun with a row over immigration. A crucial issue for voters in key parliamentary seats which will determine the UK's next government, but the intensity of the row, with Rishi Sunak accused by Labour of indulging in a barefaced lie, is an indication of the way in which future debates will focus on promises made by the government and the use of Home Office statistics. On Tuesday, Sunak claimed to have cleared the legacy backlog of nearly 93,000 applications dating back 18 months. I said that this government would clear the backlog of asylum decisions by the end of 2023. That's exactly what we've done, he wrote on the social media platform X. Stephen Kinnock, the shadow immigration minister, hit back the PM's barry-faced lie that he has cleared the asylum backlog would be laughable. If it wasn't such an insult to the public's intelligence, the road dates back to a promise made by the Prime Minister in December 2022, when he told MPs, we expect to abolish the backlog of initial asylum decisions. By the end of next year, later that day, Downing Street downgraded the target, telling journalists that Sunak had committed to clearing the backlog of 92. 601 initial claims made before June 2022, when the Nationality and Borders Act came into force. Since then, the government has poured resources into doubling the number of asylum caseworkers and agency staff who have been offered bonuses and overtime to help clear the backlog. On the 1st of January 2024, the Home Office made its first claim to have hit Sunak's target. The Prime Minister's commitment of clearing the legacy asylum backlog has been delivered, it said, but it also released statistics on the 2nd of January that classified 4,537 cases as still awaiting an initial decision. In a column marked Legacy Backlog, the Home Secretary, James Cleverley, was asked on the Today programme at BBC Radio 4 why the government said the backlog had been cleared. He replied, because it has. The Home Office defines an initial decision as being either granting or refusing asylum or another form of protection. So friend, this was some latest and important update, which was very important to share with you guys. Hope you like our latest update today. See you in next update, till then give us permission thanks for watching.